saves you good swimming. All right, let's go to the cookie. What's our next game's gonna be? All right, our five choices for this round of the fortune cookie are as follows. C2, Judgment Clay. So, uh, yes. Clay Fighter 2. Yes. F Fighter Maker for the PlayStation 1. Ugh. This might be fighting game centric by the looks of it. Bump and Jump for the NES. Clash at Demon Head for the NES. Ooh, this is a good cookie. Alright, and the final round of cookie. Or the final choice for this round of cookie is. Act Razor for the Super Nintendo. Oh. I feel Clay Fighter would be the most exciting. Well, we'll find out what everyone wants to vote on. Let's see, John, make a fighting game. John, how many years can we expect your next YouTube video? That's this not year? a sentence. <laughs> how many years, John? Didn't that joke get old, like, four oh, years ago? Yeah, you yeah, made it did. a full LP. No, you made two full LPs, I think, because I think you also did the Game Boy Donkey Kong that year, right? Uh, no. No, duh, you mean the Resident Evil? Resident Evil was uh, also no, you did, Double you Dragon. Did Resident Evil 5 and... When was Donkey Kong Game Boy then? Was that, was, that, that was well? that was two houses ago for me, so that was two years ago. Ah. Click on Danny Enigma's draw poll link to see what game we're playing next. I'll put my vote in. <laughs> I love the hash. I'm going to play Fighter. C2 Judgment Clay winning at 28%. Fighter Maker at 25. Clash of Demon Head at 20. Bump and Jump at 15. Act Razor at 12. <laughs> Well, he did clarify it, to be fair. Dunsparce, we're not switching gears to choose your own adventure till an hour's pass, so we still have another 30 minutes, so we've got one more round of cookie before we ha uh, have the option of going back to choose your own adventure. Ah, John measures time in houses, gotcha. Yeah, that's that's about right, actually. The standard measurement. I can actually do that, because I move every year, so... Maybe not this year. So, are you trying to reach some goal, and you're just settling down slowly? No, it just happens that every time we find a place we want to stay in, something screws it up, and now I have then I have to move. Uh, are the you sure you're not going to like the Oregon Trail or something? Yeah, I'm very sure. Uh, last place was everyone moved out at once. The place before that, the landlord wanted to sell. Actually, no, the, la the pl our last place was both. Everyone moved out and the landlord wanted to sell. Place before that was landlord wanted to sell. Place before that, landlord wanted to tear down the house. Place before that, I moved. I was li originally living with Dan, moved out with my girlfriend. And then it keeps going place before that, something else happens. So It's an intricate story weave of stupidity. That is my life. Now I'm the one that's moving. Oh, this is a super close cookie. It is. Uh, it's pretty much tied. 27% for C2 and 27% for Fighter Maker. Yeah, votes are tied right now. Clash of Demon Head at 19. Bum and Jump at 16. Act Razor at 12. I'm going to activate the 30 second timer. Come on, Clay Fighter. I might say it's a fight to the finish. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 ho. No. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Well, Clay Fighter got one vote out of forever. that. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I can tell it's been crushed. Oh, now, now it's tied again. This is going to be interesting. All right, we've got 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, my God. They're we not. They're tied. tied. They're actually tied. On, we, we need more votes. Oh, oh there oh. goes. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Stop. C2 Judgment Clay by five votes. Woo! When we come back, we'll be playing Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Best I wish it was Clay Fighter for N64. Uh, I, I do have it. Oh, and now, now Fighter Maker takes over. Just as I switched back to intermission, it took over. Oh, it's it's literally going jumping back and forth now. 
You already called it, though. I know, I already called it, but it's just <laughs> it's just funny to see it jumping around. Now, I know I've told John, John that, though, that I have Sculptor's Cut. Dan, do you own a copy of that? Uh, I don't own a copy of it. I, I got one last year, but I, I sold it, so... Oh, that's a shame. That's like the rarest game in the sixty four. I know, but it's my it's my business. I have to sell it. <laughs> you see, I kind of forgot to return it to Blockbuster, so <laughs> I think that's how most people who actually have kept it got their copy. I, I have like five games for Blockbuster I never returned, and now I can never return it. <laughs> I think one of the ones I forgot to return was actually Buck Bumble. Oh god. <laughs> that game. I think it was Sculptor's Cut. Blues Brothers 2000. <laughs> These are all, all gems. <laughs> Rampage Universal Tour was a fun game. Oh. What's up? Jackal79 has subscribed. Oh, Jackal. Blah, blah, da, da, da. I'm dropping all my these figures. Thank Jackal, subscribe. thank you for resubscribing. I believe you're a resub. I recognize your name, yep, either way. Sad. Here is your egg. You will give me an egg. <laughs> oh, people are trying to guess words now that are censored. Oh. <laughs> What led, what led to that suddenly? I don't know. Uh, K had said something that was censored, and apparently people now are... Cat is clearly the censored word. They've solved the mystery. Shot enough. Cat and egg. What were the other two games? Because they, they still have the Blockbuster sticker on them. Oh shit, Guile. Actually, there's one game about as rare as Sculptor's Cut for the 64. It's uh, one of the international superstar soccer games. What? Yeah. Really? No joke. Yep. Um, let me see if I can... Well, my goal is to eventually, at some point, get all the N64 games, so I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> it's, uh... Where is it? Oh, never mind. It was Charlie. If, you, if you've got Sculptor's Cut out of the way, that's, like, the most well-known, hardest game to get. And apparently, yes, yeah. a bunch of people told me Mischief Makers is pretty hard to come by, and I got that as a kid. Is it really? Mischief Makers? No, that one's easy to get. Okay. Because I could have sworn it wasn't. I think Villain told me that. Well, I mean, it is a. Uh, it is an Enix game. game, so. Yeah, Enix and Treasure usually mean hard to come by. Or at least, like, uncommon. It's going to work right out. not so good yet. You're getting asked if you like the Calgary Flames, by the way. Oh, boy. Um, I'd like them if they were a good hockey team. Oh! Where's where's the instant rim shot button? <laughs> to be fair, there aren't that, like... I mean, if there's a game going on, I'll root for the home team. But at the same time, I recognize that they will not be winning the Stanley Cup. For a while. <laughs> really? You actually did. <laughs> Wow, you can hear that? That was just out of my Yeah, head. I heard that too. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, shit. Yeah, they're, they're not a good team right now. I, Bieber I'm... should be a swear word. It's already an insult. <sighs> uh, it's that person asking in the chat why John quit Kaizo. Uh, <laughs> look at the ROM hack. Do you want to play that? No. It's... I I didn't quit Kaizo. We beat that LP. Well, yeah, you did, but I mean, I guess ROM hacking. He means. Oh, after ROM hacking. Uh. Because. Because it wasn't fun ROM anymore. Hacking is pretty. To put it bluntly, it was not fun anymore. So. Yeah. Why do you suddenly have a slide whistle? <laughs> because it not fun was said. Is that the trigger word for a slide whistle? Not fun. Uh, I guess I I have a sound library for the night. And usually I'm the one with the goofy sounds. Yeah, that or Luca. No, you Luca actually has a kazoo and a slide whistle. She'll pull out. I'm gonna ask her to like learn painted black for me. On the slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty impressive, actually. No, I that think would... actually on the kazoo it would sound pretty good. Oh, it'd be easier to do on a kazoo than a slide whistle. To be fair. There you go, Wilhelm Scream. I've got that one too. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I sent you that one. What? Because that was in my Worm sound pack, remember? I no, that I, no, I already had Wilhelm. Oh, did you? I used Wilhelm in a, in a Let's Play a long time ago. I don't remember which one it was. I just know that yeah, I used it. I don't think it was that Are long you ago. you cleaning the cart? Yes, I am. <laughs> I like how I know the sound of cart cleaning now. It just sounds like squeaky plastic. It's my life. Your life is cleaning cartridges. 
Well, I mean, I cleaned probably like 900 carts last year, 800 carts. That is nuts. Yeah. It's gonna keep you busy. It's true. Now, what would you say is the proper way to clean a cart? Well, uh, there's two ways. The way that is easiest for everybody is Q -tip. just to get some, just a Q-tip and isopropanol alcohol. So that's alcohol. what I've done. Yeah, that's what most people should do. Um, but they should be careful not to put too much alcohol on, because that's actually an easy thing to do. Um, and the other thing is, if you do have the, the the bit screwdriver for it, then you can open it up and get like a really really good white eraser. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's more oh, time. I remember that. Hey John, have you ever gotten Dear John letter? <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever gotten a Dear John. I've gotten a death threat. <laughs> they're a little different. Yeah, tiny bit. Nah, no, nah, you know, if you think about it, they're kind of not. I f I Although feel... it was a joke death threat, so. What about the one oh, from the guy? The one you showed the... Me? Yeah, he's gonna like a... use his karate to kill me. Yeah, the chuck a fan or something, right? It was like a kid. No, it was Liam. Liam. Or... Oh. oh, was it? It was Liam who sent me a magazine cut out death threat. No, Fair? I thought. I thought there was a kid though at some con who wanted to like get into a fight with you or something. Farron Heights actually asked, "Hey John or Kellican, what does the Dreamcatcher have to do with Canada?" Because of the Indians. <laughs> I, that, that's the way. That's one way of putting it. Yeah. Dear I, John, I, if you die? Question mark. It's uh, it's native <laughs> Native American. Well, native, native American is not the right term, but yes, that that's pretty much how the Dear John works. Culture. All right, let's see if the cart works this time. Come on, baby. Yeah, there like we... the fourth grader K head was talking about. Oh yeah, no, the or I thought it was a fifth grader. Or maybe it was. No, oh, no, it was third grader. Shit. It was very silly. Uh, Wait, it for five dollars. Yeah, you, he was gonna beat me up in a uh, at PAX because so I made fun of Chugga. So can I ask you then? Did you get the time to look up what his special moveset was? Hmm? Did you get the time before the fight to look up his special moveset? Oh, the the small child's? Yeah. No, he he. Uh, I ended up talking him out of the fight because I'm like, why would you fight me? That's just stupid. Good job. <laughs> That's always a good power. Vihan wonders if Native Americans would have used Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 say would have like they don't exist. I think they probably would have used Doge coins if anything. I think really that's the major difference we're talking about here. I think it would have been bead coin. Bead coin. <laughs> bead coin. <laughs> or bit beads. Hey, we need we need that amazing intro here. Oh, clay fighters is fantastic. Da 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 da. So, which character are you gonna play as? I could play as Hoppy because he's basically Arnold. You could. Walk attack. I remember liking the banana. What are the it's options? Like a doctor feel, feel good or something? Difficulty is medium. Speed is three. Timer fifty five. Arena select man. Foreground on. Button config. Needs more. Go Arnold though. Jab medium brutal. Quick forward heavy. Okay. So Street Fighter controls. Let's see. Our options are. Frost. Bad Mr. Frosty. Tiny. Blob. Oh. Nana. Octo, Goo Goo, Goo Goo, <laughs> Hoppy, and Kangoo. I think you have to go as the rabbit just for Arnold. So, uh, Boomerang Bomber said that they wouldn't use Bitcoin until Dogecoin came and wiped them out. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. All right, so someone just asked me to ask you about the creepy kid during the derps against humanity panel at Magfest. Oh no, oh no, dude! I don't know if I should be telling that story because he does he does come to these streams. Oh well, okay, never mind then. So so you should tell it then. <laughs> you the gotta play it as the bunny though. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of people saying Gugu and Nana. 
Yeah, there's a lot of goo goo. I I'd say it's between the banana or the Arnold. Come on. I uh, how about this? I'll play I'll play as Arnold, then I'll switch to to the banana, then I'll switch to goo goo. Oh, Frosty is Michael Keaton. I can't believe somebody actually remembers that movie. Oh my god, Jack Frost? Yeah. Alright, let's see how bad I'm at Clay Fighter, because I didn't play this game growing up. I remember they took out a lot of characters from the first game, and they're in like one of the backgrounds of the stages. I don't know any of the moves in this game, and I'm already getting my ass kicked. If it was uh, the N64 one, I'd be able to help you. Yeah, me too. I know, do you remember there was a character that was cut from the third game because it was too offensive? That's too offensive for Clay Fighter? That's probably yeah. the the dude that's... Robocop. What? Yeah, you didn't hear about that? Hobocop? Yep, it's, it was a Robocop parody that is too offensive, so they had to take it out. So I realized the character I picked is basically Guile, because... That's all his moves are, our charge moves. A flash kick. It's not a very good flash kick. It sends you forward. So does Giles. But, very far. but Giles actually goes up, is my point. This isn't. This is not an anti-air kick. Is it more like uh, Remy in 3? Yeah, it's more like Remy's, to be perfectly honest. Remy's is okay. The only good thing I got going here is that my projectile goes under his, so... And when I fire it, I duck. So you are Remy, because if I remember, Remy was a mix of Guile and Sagat in the sense that you could throw high and low Tiger shots, but in this case they were Sonic Booms. But you also had the Guile moves. Scrub League! Scrub League! Get my ass kicked in the Scrub League! One thing I remember about the N64 version was how cheap some of the moves were. It was just a game where it was it was all about repeating the exact same thing. Yeah, I think I played as Kung Pao. <laughs> With, it was pretty offensive. Out his walk every three seconds. Yeah, he was really, really offensive. Everything he said and the names of all his moves, just everything about him. Walk attack! Hong Kong crap! <laughs> Hong Kong crap? What? It was It's clap, but you know, oh. that's how they say it. Which yeah. is why... Here's the thing, if that got in, how did Hobocop not get in? Well, apparently it was, it really was mean to hobos, so there you go. Yeah, or cops. Racism is less offensive. Oh shit, I'm getting racist. Who's ever been offended by that? <laughs> no one, clearly. No one. Yep, Dan, Nana is Nana Man. I lost. I remember Everyone the, uh... I think in this game... Isn't there like an evil version of everyone you can play as eventually? And they have like different stats or moves? Who was the guy that... What was the character who turned into like uh, random tools? Blob. Blob, yeah. Alright. He's, he's in all three. Let's play as yeah. Nana. Blob, I just remember you would just repeat the same move where you like... You jump in the air and then you very quickly go under their feet. Apparently my character's name is Nana Man. Let's do this giant banana. Hobocop with a shotgun. There are pictures of Hobocop, I think, out there that you can find. I, I feel like I might have even seen it in Nintendo Power, because I remember like, hearing yeah, about that parody. Yeah, it was in Nintendo Power, and in fact, they were going to make a Sculptor's Cut DS remake that never got announced, oh. or released. I found it. He did? They give that to uh, John. Yeah. Whoops. I keep that thinking characters would charge moves, apparently. Good job. <laughs> that was not a good link. Let's try that again. Is Nana Man gonna start dancing peanut butter and jelly time? Oh, maybe. Yeah, that is a huge link that you accidentally gave us. Yeah, I think that was like 3,000 characters. Jeez. I think I copied the source of the image or something. But Hobocop was going to be in the DS game remake. Clay Fighter starring Robin Williams as Nana. Shit. I got my ass kicked faster that time. That character was too offensive. Hope you like my present. 
the name of his attacks though. Hopito, Hobut, and Lidthro. And there go the banana puns. Alright, let's pick Gugu. Watch me not be able to beat the first boss. The first like, stage, you mean? Yes, yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. <laughs> I like the like backstory. You're a long Obo way. Cop spent too many years on the force trying to forget the horrors of his job. Now he's a staggering, swaying embarrassment to the badge. But even the lowest clay fighter has his dreams and his pride. Can Hobo Cop rise to the occasion and help Frosty bring Kiln to justice? This reminds me of when Chip and Ironicus did the anime theater and watched Mad Bull 13. Or 34, whatever it was. Yeah, Mad Bull 34. It was a weird anime. Then again, all anime is pretty Nerd. weird. Don't worry, guys. Apparently, the baby is Ryu. Is the baby really Ryu? He's got Hadoukens. He's got Shoryukens. Let him do a Tatsumaki. Uh, his Tatsumaki stands him in place. He technically does have one. Good enough. Apparently, the, the uh, Shoryuken is called Diaper Uppercut. <laughs> Classy. Maybe he's supposed to be Sagat, then? Because it's like Tiger Uppercut? Maybe. That animation, that amazing animation. I can't believe this is working right now. Are you Make sure to give him a baby alley when you win. If you're being cheap and winning, then welcome to a Clay Fighter game. <laughs> yep. I'm just constantly doing Shoryukens. I did it. Now, now I'm fighting Gugu. I'm glad we went so far in this game. Gugu versus Gugu. Gugu versus Gugu. What is this background right now? Uh, let me see. Babies in the hood. <laughs> Babies in the hood? That's what I see on, in the like background. Is that like that one stage from Ultimate Marvel with all the Mad Gear people? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Except with yeah. babies? Oh my god. It, actually, it kind yeah. of is. So where is Baby Poison? Uh, that's too much information. That's in the background. Good point. Oh dear, this stage is... That, that, wasn't kidding that, that girl said. baby is arrested in the background. She's got cuffs on. So what do you think she got arrested for? Uh, Smuggling the diaper? Probably. Solicitation. Why is this working? Why is this working? <laughs> I've had nightmares that look a lot like this. <laughs> this looks like Cabbage Patch Kit's gone wrong, to be fair. Maybe that's what they were going for, because I'm pretty sure all the characters are supposed to be parodies of stuff. Under D. Clay. What? Ten, ten more says stage name, The Crib. The Crib. <laughs> you know I, what? That's probably what the name is. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably. Now I'm fighting Octo. Octo Dad? No, I'm just Octo. Octo Mom. Exactly. Yeah. So I guess in this case it's Shumagora. It does look a lot more like Shuma, to be fair. Yeah, she was a pretty good character. I like him. He's not very this high tier, though, is he? Looks fun uh, and no, but he's fun. Uh, you can probably get this game for like ten bucks. I, the price tag that's still on my cart says ten bucks, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. I remember though. Uh, you get it me? No. Okay. Did you ever play Deadpool versus Shimogura? No. They made a hentai joke. I'm not surprised. Yeah, me neither. I just think it's hilarious that they actually managed to fit that in the game. I do like how the AI is not punishing me on any of this right now. He's an octopus. As long as I keep like immediately putting in the move when I land on the ground, it will just stand there, not block, and let me hit it. Oh, it's with that clock. Ooh, what is that? I think that's supposed to be a blowfish. Well, it's gross. I don't like it. I 
guess it's a blowfish, but... Oh, no, I know what it is. It's the thing from the Mario Party 3 stage. Oh shit, I'm fighting a Bobo. A Bobo? Really? A Bobo meets Hulk Hogan, apparently. Oh shit. He's a real American. Fight for the rights of everyone. Every man. I was thinking it in my... Whatever. What do you mean whatever? Of Adrian corrects me on the... Yeah, it's your, it's your damn national theme song. Sorry! That would be a pretty awesome Hogan. national anthem. I know that there is apparently a uh, petition on WhiteHouse.gov to get the American national That's anthem, the one for Guile's theme. Yeah, I think I would love that. Ah, oh, damn. I remember there was a petition to get a Death Star made. Yep, and the White House actually had to address that one. And there was also one to make a full Master Chief suit of armor. Probably. Uh, that one I'm not sure about. I don't think they addressed it, though. You see, the reason they didn't do the Death Star was because everyone knows the weakness. I mean, I think that's actually what they said was that it would be useless to make such a giant weapon that could be destroyed so easily by like a, a small kid. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If you throw like a rock in there, you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna ruin the whole thing. I'm on my way to Bungle Jungle. Bungle Jungle. Just fight that fast. Yeah, I'm fighting Nana Man. Everyone, baby top tier. Yeah, apparently we found the S tier char X tier character. I'd like to see if somebody's made tier guides for the Clay Fighter games. There probably is. I know eventually, though, you do fight clone versions of yourself, but they, they do have different moves and I, I already fought the the clone version. No, 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 no. That's that's just, like, a, pa uh, a mirror match, but there's actually, like, a clone clone. Oh. Because it still was named Goo Goo. They, they all have different names. Oh, shit. I know Nana Man actually might be top tier or, or, or topper tier. I know the banana is Dr. Feelgood, and he is purple. Well, Dr. Feelgood, technically not Feelgood, but you know what I mean. Yeah. K-Head says there was a petition to change the national anthem to Party in the USA. <laughs> no. Oh, I guess the clock does change every stage. Yeah, this time it's a banana. Yep, yeah, it's a banana. Good old banana clock. Is that a banana? Oh god, there's a game I haven't played in so long. That would actually be a lot of fun. Yeah, you'd still kick my ass at it though, because I'm probably worse at it than I was back then. Oh, I don't know. You can put somebody else on your team. It worked in Madden. <laughs> it worked so well when Jack was helping play football. <laughs> Get the British guy to do an American sport. Man, man is Morgan tier. Uh, whoever asked me to do uh, Curl Circle Forward Punch, that's the bottle. That's my Hadoken. So, right. so do you, what do you think is in that bottle? Is it like flames? It's probably milk. Oozeville! I think this is the stage with the like, Mount Rushmore characters from the first game that didn't make it in. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Well, one of them is. Sick combos, man. There is a petition to put Reggie in Smash. <laughs> on yeah, on WhiteHouse.gov? <laughs> I don't know. No, Reggie did address that, though. He said if people want it. Now, have you guys seen what's in his house in New Leaf? Because everyone was able to get access to his house. No. Nope. Okay, his bed has a picture of his face. Really? Yes. That Doesn't one everybody have that in real life? That's how you know it's That's actually his bed. Yeah. It's like the name on the underwear thing. Right? I thought you were supposed to put the day of the week on the underwear. I thought that's how that worked. Oh, I don't know. Whatever, whatever the cliche is. Something written on underwear. Yes. Today is Haynes. What? <laughs> I thought it was Fruit of the Loom. Shit. <laughs> You know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Unless, you know, the apple gives you disease. You know what's amazing about this game? I can stop inputting moves and it'll still repeat them. I haven't even typed in half these uppercuts and it's still doing them. That's fantastic. John is so MLG. 
Exactly. <laughs>